So what you can easily check is just go f of x. We'll try this equals 400. If you're stuck, I'm going to pretend that I'm stuck. I'm going to zoom out. And then, oh boy, what is my calculator doing? Equals plus 1,000. So one thing to kind of factor in is when you have big numbers, you really, really have to zoom out. So let's go here. So we've got f of x equals maybe 400. So let's go ahead and go to f of 400. And that's how we're doing it there. So if you just put equals, it would be a problem. But as we type it in into the parentheses, it cranks out our answer, makes our life easier. Okay, so this one has shifted down four units in the xy plane with a y intercept of the resulting graph. So you can move this whole thing around and have Desmos do it. I kind of like for faster because I want to spend more time on the hard stuff is I'm going to go 33. I'm just going to type it in cold like this, 297. And then I'm checking because it's very easy to make mistakes. So right here, I have the Y intercept to be nine, but as I'm looking at it, it's going to go down five. So we're going to pretty much, let's see, we're going to go nine minus five is four, which even my kindergartner knows nine minus five is four. Well, most of the time, but she also keeps calling numbers like the number 40. She keeps going 40, 10, which, so we're a little confused there. Okay, so on this one right here is we've got this. What is the y-intercept of the graph? So let's just go ahead and type this in. f of x equals 110 over x minus 2. So this one is really straightforward. And then what is the y-intercept? 